Hello and hi everyone. In this video, I want to show you how to draw this 2D drafting for 45 degree pipe elbow. Okay, so now you open the new file. Okay, firstly, we need to draw a circle. Press enter, then we put the radius for the circle 225. Okay, click to the zoom extent on the right hand side. Okay. Next, by using the offset command, we put the offset distance 88 divided by 2. Then, we offset this circle inward and outward. Press enter. Once again, by using the offset command, we put the offset distance 138 divided by 2. Then, click to this circle. Offset inward and offset outward. Press enter. Next, by using the line command, we draw a line, start from this point, like this. Then another line, from this point, like this. Then, once again, from this point, like this. Okay. Okay, now, we are going to use the parametric function. So, you can see the parametric option. We choose auto constraint, then we select all of the object. Then by using the dimension constraint, we put the angle here. Okay, we put 65. Then here we put, okay, 45. Okay, next by using the trim command, press enter twice. We trim this part and this part. Okay. So now we are going to select this part and right click. Okay, hide object. Okay. Okay, next by using the line command, we draw a line. Okay, we put the line 225. Then press shift comma in order to put the angle. So we put negative 65 degree. Press enter. Press enter once again. By using the move command, press enter. Select this line. Then we put this line to this point. By using the offset command, press enter. We put the offset distance to 37, press enter, then click to this line, offset to this direction. Then we draw a line from this point to this point, and another line from this point to, to this point. Okay. So simply by using the copy command, we copy this line to this point and this point, press enter. By using the mirror command, press enter, we select this part. Press enter. Okay, for the mirror, for the first point of mirror line, we click to the center. Then by using the shift, right click, make between two points. Okay, so you can see the mirror object. Okay, press enter. Now, we need to delete this line. Then by using the offset command, we put the distance 40. So for this line, we offset to this direction. Then by using the extend command, press enter, select this line, press enter, then you can extend this line like this, okay? Press enter, alright. Next, by using the trim command, press enter twice, we trim this part, this part, this part, and this part. By using the fillet command, we put the radius, okay, click to the radius, then we put uh, 10, radius 10. Then choose multiple in order to do the multiple fillet. Ah, uh, sorry, uh, to this edge, okay. Alright, this edge. Okay, this edge, alright. Then, once again, fillet. Then next, we put the radius 15. Okay, choose this line like this. Okay, we are with multiple to select the multiple edge, multiple edges. Okay, okay, so here we can delete. Okay, okay, next we are going to change the line type. So go to this, to this line type, then choose other dot. We choose this ISO dash line type and we choose. Center line type, then okay. 
then we change this line we choose center for this line we choose dash by using the PR command properties we change the scale for this line type 0 0.5 then for this line we put 25 okay by using the trim command press enter twice press shift in order to extend this out like this okay so the next step by using the hatch command lead to this region and this region then we can change the pattern here then we put the scale 25 press enter press enter once again next by using the dimension command we draw, uh, we label the dimension from this point, from this point to this point, like this. Okay, so first by using the dim style command, okay, we modify the dimension style. So for the symbol arrow, we put seven, okay, known. Then for the text, we put text height 7, ISO standard. For the primary unit, we choose position 0. Then click OK, close. Okay, we label dimension to another part. Like this. Okay, like this. Okay, then like this. Okay, like this. Okay, then like this. Okay. Alright. So here, we modify a little bit by using this blue dot. Okay, 37. Then for here. Okay, 40. Alright. Then right click and object isolation. We delete this constraint. Okay, by using the dim command, we label the angle like this. Correct, 65. Then this 45. Okay, so done with our drafting. Thanks for watching my YouTube video. Keep follow my FB page and F Design and Engineering for more updates. Thank you.